guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to be bringing you episode 3 in my shelf talk series. Now, you will notice if you watched episode 1 and 2, uh, my shelves have already changed. Not long after I filmed those episodes, I got more books and had to rearrange my bookshelves. So, my top two bookshelves are different now which I told you they were going to be, if you'll remember. I, I did, I knew it was gonna happen, so I'm, I'm sorry. Since you see them more often, you'll be able to keep up with them changing. It's the other bookshelves that you don't see that normally don't change that much, if ever, really, unless I get a new book. So those are really the only ones that you'll be excited about, right? Because you don't see them all that time, all the time. Uh, but these, you'll see when they change. But anywho, I digress. Uh, today I'm going to be doing the third shelf on my tall bookshelf that I normally do my filming on. And this is my fantasy bookshelf. Part of it I have more other places, but this is my fantasy, like actually most read of the fantasy, probably, I think. I don't know, I can't keep track anymore. But without further ado, I am going to show you the books on my third shelf, my fantasy, YA fantasy shelf. Part of it. Here we go! The first book I have is Rising Shadows by Ashley Townsend and this is book one in her Rising Shadows trilogy. I have not read this yet. Next I have Chasing Shadows which is book two in the Rising Shadows trilogy and I have not read this one yet. Then I have Defying Shadows which is book three in the Rising Shadows trilogy and I have not read this one yet. Then I have Daughter of Light which is book one in the Follower of the Word series by Morgan L. Busey and I have not read this one yet. Next I have Son of Truth, which is book two in the Follower of the Word series, and I have not read this one yet. Next I have Heir of Hope, which is book three in the Follower of the Word series, and I have not read this one yet. Next I have Tainted by Morgan L. Busey, and this is book one in the Soul Chronicles duology, and I have not read this one yet. Next I have Awakened, which is book two in the Soul Chronicles duology, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Mark of the Raven by Morgan L. Busey. This is book one in the Ravenwood Saga, and I have read this one. Then I have Flight of the Raven, which is book two in the Ravenwood Saga, and I have read this one. Then I have Cry of the Raven, which is book three in the Ravenwood Saga, and I have read this one as well. Such a great series. Next, I have The Story Peddler, which is book one in the, Re the Weaver Trilogy by Lindsay A. Franklin, and I have read this one. Next, I have The Story Raider, which is book two in the Weaver Trilogy, and I have read this one. Next I have The Story Hunter, which is book three in the Weaver Trilogy, and I have read this one as well. Also another wonderful series. Next I have A Time to Die, which is book one in the Out of Time series by Nadine Brandes, and I have not read this one. Then I have A Time to Speak, which is book two in the series, and I have not read this one. And I have A Time to Rise, which is book three in the Out of Time series, and I have not read this one yet either. Next I have Fox by Nadine Brandes, and I have read this one. It was very good. Next I have Romanov by Nadine Brandes and Jenna, please do not kill me, but I have not read this one yet, but it is on my list to get done this year, hopefully. Next I have Unblemished by Sarah Ella. This is the first book in the Unblemished trilogy. Um, I think it's also known as the Reflections trilogy or something like that, but most people just know it by the Unblemished trilogy, and I have read this. Next is Unraveling, which is book two in the Unblemished series trilogy, lol, and I have read this one. Next is Unbreakable, which is book three in the Unblemished trilogy, and I have read this one. Also love the series so much. So good. Next is Coral by Sarah Ella, and I have read this one as well. Next is The Evaporation of Sophie Snow by Mary Weber. This is book one in a duology, but I don't remember what the duology is called. Uh, I have not read it yet. Next I have Reclaiming Shiloh Snow, which is the second book in that duology by Mary Weber, and I have not read it yet. And the final book that I have on this shelf at the moment is To Best the Boys by Mary Weber, and I have not read this one yet, but again, it is on my list. So those are the books on my third shelf, my YA fantasy part one, essentially. I know I have more somewhere. So that's that. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of the books and if you have which ones, and I would love to hear your thoughts on them. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram, on Facebook, Twitter, my blog, literally everywhere. All of my the links are in the description below and I'll give you all my usernames in the next slide. So I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.